life. Life for me is a nameless diary of grumble. And as I turn the weary pages, reminiscing the years of struggle, as I unveil the diary of struggle, it is life that blooms. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Sohail Khan and the very idea behind my talk today is to spotlight the essence of consistency and flexibility in order to pioneer the trend of accomplishment. Now, before I talk about anything else, I would like all of you to time travel, maybe a few years down the memory lane, and I'm pretty sure you would be able to comprehend a substantial genesis that can aptly justify the present storyline. Or in simple words, it is a hybrid of introspective questions. Had I not done that, maybe life would have been different today. Or maybe the choice that I made a decade ago shaped me into who I am today. Well, we all at some point in our lives have had this fantasm of being at the crossroads of Robert Frost's classic poem. Well, don't you think from that initiation of struggles, coupled with the zeal for a better tomorrow, seems to be like someone has played a tape recorder? Someone has played a tape recorder or more precisely, the carva of emotions. But something that I have always longed for is a pause button, a moment to stop and to stand aloof from the monotone and think, think what exactly was I trying to become? What exactly was I hustling to achieve? A moment to think, pause and introspect and to feel the trail of passion and to quest for a satisfactory answer. Now, this brings me to the starry wintry night when a couple of days ago, I sat down to the that I wish to talk about in my speech today. And trust me, never in my life had I felt such a conundrum to unfold and assemble the entangled array of thoughts. I realized immediately gazing at the stars metaphorical for the vivid people around the globe that if a 16-year-old has so much to share with the world, then the world would be having such a huge diversity of inspiring stories. Then what is that hinders a thought from becoming a trail that the world can look up to? What stops a person from being the spearhead of his own revolutionary ideas? Well, in my opinion, it is a set of multiple reasons. Maybe the lack of opportunity, or the fear of what people would say if I come out with my different set of opinions. Will I be accepted? Will I be accepted by the society if I take a stand for myself? When I was a child, I used to suffer from phonemic disorder, which is the disability to learn the language, to learn the sound system of a language. And the pain that a child feels when other kids of his age laugh at him is really difficult to be expressed in words. I asked myself just one simple question. Is it the end of all those dreams that you have seen since childhood? Is it the end? Are you going to give up? The answer was certainly a big no. And then started a wholesome practice of innumerable speeches. Many spoken in the washroom, to the mirror, to the walls, and then slowly in the classroom, in colleges, cultural fest, debates, and finally, and finally, I'm here talking to this astounding audience at TEDx. At this point, I would take this opportunity to thank my mom and dad who are sitting in front of me. Mom, for all those tireless 4 a.m. session and dad for clapping for me when no one else did. As I pause and look back into the past to what corrected my phonemic disorder, it is consistency. The day you start challenging yourself, you set limits and put in efforts to break them. Your bag full of power pack practice and most importantly, confidence is all that you need to overcome any hurdle in the path of achieving your success. There must be so many kids like the one I was years ago, daunted to come out of their closet. But the only key to rise above your own fear is to stop being apprehensive of what the consequences will be. The zeal to make your voice heard eventually paves a trailblazing story. There will be failures. There will be failures undoubtedly even in the smallest endeavors. But the difference lies in your mindset. Whether you give up, 
pack your bag, go to home and sleep peacefully on your bed? Or would you grind yourself more and more till the shine of your efforts never lets you forget how far you have come in achieving your success? India, which is evolving every moment, but we cannot deny the fact that stereotypes do not exist in our society. When you dare to be different, I'm sure the journey will never be simple. But when you start tracing your way back, facing the negativity in the outside world or even in your social networking pages in the comment section of your Instagram for a post that seems to be different. Trust me, after several years when you sit and introspect and start blaming the society, stereotypes and toxicity for your failure within yourself, you would know that it was you, your fear and your short-lived aspirations that killed your passionate identity. It was you. It was you who did not walk those 10 difficult steps to stand and yell to the world that I am who I want myself to be and that's that. I really get inspired by these lines by Malala Yousafzai in her autobiography. I don't want to be remembered. I don't want to be remembered as someone who was shot. I want to be remembered as someone who stood up. Opportunities, which are synonymous with the trailblazing stories that we all have witnessed on this platform today, will knock at your doors. Make sure you are flexible enough to accept new challenges and create your own story. There may be hundreds of reasons to break down and cry, but show the world that there are millions of reasons to be stronger and stronger. Let there be no limits. Let there be no chains that can bind the thunder of a sti inspiring stimulus. And I'm pretty sure that a trail that an ignited mind creates would be a trend for the whole world to follow.